All right, transversal. Gage. Here's the picture. The transversal is this right there. That's line T. Line T is a transversal. The definition of a transversal. So this is all write this down. This is all 2D. It's all two dimensional. That means it's coplanar. It's in the same plane. So you've got two lines that are intersected by T. T is the transversal. Now the angles. Do you see I've got the angles numbered? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Christian, it creates eight angles. You see it? The angles have special names. Fernando, wake up. You need to know what corresponding angles are. Fernando, angles are corresponding if they occupy corresponding positions. For example, 1 and 5. They're called corresponding angles. Fernando, give me another pair of corresponding angles. 2 and 6. So angle 2 and angle 6. Write them down. That's good. What else is corresponding? Angle 3 and angle 7. Good. <clears throat> and angle 4 and angle 8. So those are all corresponding. They're kind of in the same spots. Make sense? Let's talk about the next one. Let's talk about alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles. If they lie outside, you guys circle this, outside. They've got to be outside. So that's kind of like the top or the bottom. And they are on opposite sides. So an example is angle 1 and angle 8. So if angle 1 and angle 8 are called alternate exterior angles, what is another pair, Aspen? Angle 2 and angle 7. What's another pair, Carson? That's a trick question. There's not one. That's it. Because they got to be on the outside. The only ones on the outside are the very top and the very bottom. And they've got to be kind of kitty corner. So 1 and 8, 2 and 7. That's it. Tony? Alternate interior angles. What's the difference between alternate interior and alternate exterior? Circle it. They've got to be... Oh, it doesn't say it's got to be on the inside. But yeah, they are on the inside. Write it down. They're on the inside. So an example is angle 3 and angle 6. So if angles 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior. What's another one? Angle 5 and angle 4. Okay, the very last one. are called consecutive interior angles. If they lie between the two lines on the same side of the transversal. So, angles 3 and 5 are an example. And what else would be an example? Angle 4 and angle 6. So if they're on the same side, then they're called consecutive interior angles. Kenzie, what is this? What is angle 1 and angle 4? What are they called? They've got a special name. Angle 1 and angle 4. Juliana, what's angle 1 and angle 4? vertical. This is from chapter 1. Write this down. They are vertical. Vertical angles. They're kind of opposite each other. Christian, what's angles 1 and 2? Supplementary. They are your adjacent angles. And they are supplementary. 
So you know one and two are supplementary. What's two and four? Supplementary, they're adjacent. And what's five and eight? Vertical. Okay, so now we're adding to the vertical into your linear pair. And that is it. Your assignment is from the book, page 132, 1 through 26, 47 through 50, and that last one didn't copy well, it's just 60.